Hey guys, welcome back to my studio. This is acrylic. No, it's not acrylic painting with Julie E. This is art by Julie E. Duck on it. <laughs> but, um, we are working with acrylics today. Um, if you are new to my channel, what you are watching is me doing Plan B. I did Plan A last week, which was an acrylic fluid art swipe and there were just things about it that I didn't care for. I didn't care for the harsh squareness oh boy, harsh squareness of some of the lines and a lot of the blockiness. So, yeah, I'm just I'm really stepping out of my comfort zone here and um just experimenting basically i've got my catalyst wedge i've got sponges i've got brushes we're still using the same color palette as last week because that's the color palette that is in my living room and that's what this is for um so yeah here i'm just putting down the same paints that i poured with and swiping them down with the catalyst wedge and then once I've got an area swiped that I kind of dig, then I go over it with a spray bottle of water and give it kind of a distressed, aged, runny kind of look. And I thought that was kind of cool, but then I changed my mind and didn't care for the upper portion of the painting. It was still a little choppy and stuff. So yeah, it goes through a lot of changes and you'll see it here and all the different techniques that I used. Um, I will have all the colors and paints and pigments that I used down in the description. Um, let's see, what else do we need to talk about? Uh, the train today. I'm not sure how many are participating in the train today. Um, some are going to Costa Rica for Nate's um, art class getaway vacation thing. And so I don't know if they've got videos up today or not. They might, but all of their links and channels will be in the description also. So please go down to the description, take a look, check it out, see what you think. And um, I'm going to shut up till this is over with and put on some music for you guys. I hope you enjoy watching all the changes and you can take bits and pieces of this video and... Um, you know, try some of these techniques for yourself. Step out of that comfort zone and just experiment. Play around. Uh, if you like this distressed look, try that. If you like the next step that's coming up and you would like to leave it there, you can. Or if you want to keep going further, as I did, that's a possibility too. So I'll see you at the end of this.
You say you wanna be a star But the city is so dense and loaded You need to cover up your scars And it makes you feel so distant With such a disguise Why don't you leave it all behind And come back home I'll make some sweets and tea Just like it used to be You say you had to take the chance Even though you got arrested and wasted It's been so long since you've been calm Okay <laughs> I'm at a point where I want to stop and not because it's what I had planned at first but let me take you down and yeah it's not what I had planned at first at all but it turned into something really cool on the opposite side of the table let me take you around and show you um, some of you know that I grew up in northern Minnesota and um, this it just reminds me of the forests up in northern Minnesota and this is where I want to keep it. I am in love with this now and I don't want to go any further. Um, yeah, the sponge work kind of created a foliage look to it. So I like it and I want to keep it this way. And here it is hanging on the wall and I never thought I'd say this but yeah a two foot by three foot painting is still too small for that wall as much as I love it and as much as Sparky loves it I personally think it's too small <laughs> I was like okay I need to go bigger but I do love it I do love it I love how Bob Rossi it got <laughs> <laughs> with the happy little trees. That was unexpected, but I do love it. I hope you like it too. Let me know in the comments and uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye! You say you wanna be a star But the city is so dense and loaded